Greetings, everybody. Continuing on where we left off at, we're going to start on modeling these three um, like rods or metal rods that hold up everything. And it looks to me that they're like two parts. So we're going to start that off by using a circle. And we're going to dumb down the numbers because we don't really need 32 vertices that's a bit much and then you know it's going to be duplicated pretty much three times so you know that'll be a crazy amount of vertices to work with so we're going to stick with something that's about 12 and we're going to do now we're going to put this um, circle on the surface to make it easier for us so we're going to hit shift tab to turn on our snapping control shift tab and we're going to go to face now just hit G Z make sure we have a good view of viewing of it G Z all right and that's roughly it's just about right so we're going to turn off our snapping um, we're going to leave our origin in the center, so we're going to tap into edit mode, and then we're just going to move our object over, scale it down, also, you know, going a little bit of what our reference is. Now that I think about it, looks like we may... Let me see if I can modify this real fast. Excuse, sorry about that. Is this gonna make it any better? Well, we'll do some final adjustments in like the final video, if it's really needed. But for right now, it's pretty decent. All right. So now we're gonna add the mirror modifier. That was the reason for not moving the object off its origin. And you know, lastly, we'll have to put it right here, of course. So we're gonna do this e, uh, e for extrude, and we're just gonna pull it up a little bit. Um, it is a pretty big piece, and what I'm gonna do now is just scale it. Okay, that's not too good. Um, we just actually let me do this. Let me turn modifier off. Let me do shift. Shift S, cursor to selected, period, so that we'll scale it in place. And we're just gonna size it down. That's looking a little too big for, for, for uh, my needs. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna add that mirror modifier back. All right, so now we got that part. Now the inner part is, and we're going to click this off so that we don't see all the faces. We're going to extrude it and scale it in. Then we're going to E, e for extrude and scale it downward. Even though they're not going to be able to see, that, see it, but we're just going to make it go through a little bit. All right, and so now the next part, we can have it as a separate object, which would be fine on, in this case. We're going to hit Shift D, P to separate that selection. Select our our newly created uh, curve or vertices, and then all we're going to do is just extrude, going up. Don't worry, we're going to get that middle part. We're just going to extrude this up, and pay attention to our reference. It's about we're kind of eyeballing it here, so you can kind of go you know either way so now that looks fine so now let's see how it looks when we apply a subdivision surface oh not that that's going to be fine of course um this one we get a mess so what we're going to do to fix this mess we're going to add some extra loop cuts Control b to make these to make our edges hard and we gotta do that with the inner part. So up here, just bevel it. Press slash on your numpad 
Now we're going to do it on the inner part. Same thing. We can't see it, so we're going to take our, our modifier off to zero. And then we're just going to bevel it. All right, so that's pretty good. So now let's put that back to about three, slash out. And we're going to change our shading to smooth. I, I, I guess it wouldn't be much of a problem to add some loop cuts here. About, let's see, two, three, four, five. Five is pretty decent. Enter to confirm. Right click to cancel all that so you don't have to move it. And we're just going to go about two. And we're going to change that to smooth as well. And also we're going to duplicate these parts as well. So now let's get that center part going on. Or let's get these. We just want to move this up. So shift. Um, actually going to uh, edit mode. Shift D. Oh, and for this, just want to rotate that one. Oops, this is the axes for that. Um, sometimes I get the axes mixed up. Rotate that 180. And then we're just going to put it down. Where actually is that? Yeah. 180, yeah. Yep. So zoom in a little bit. Just make sure that it's on top. There's a you know some overlap going on, which is which isn't fine. And we're not going to worry about this since the other piece is going to be covering it. So what we're going to do now. We're going to Control J, make it into one full object. Shift D. And we're just going to make it match. Um, wireframe is always good to make your adjustments. All right, just about halfway there. OK, seven minutes in. So now we're going to get this one, this last rod part, Shift D. Um, actually, let's not do that. We're going to combine these parts, all these parts together. Control J. Now we can do Shift D. And we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. Uh, actually, let's take this off. We're going to put our cursor in the center. We're going to put our selection to the... Alright, that didn't work either. Now, it didn't work because our locations aren't applied and we need to put our origin on our object. So now, if we do selection to cursor, it'll be right in the center. And all we have to do now is just make sure it lines up correctly. And then we just want to move it back. Um, and it has to go through. There we go. Make sure it's the same up top. So I'm going to select this part, move this down a bit more. And there you go. All right, so now we got one more thing to go before we do the glass and the sand. So with that being said, now we can apply our mirror. And we're going to join these together. Control J. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the we're going to take these vertices right here, since they're lined up perfectly. Shift D, P to separate. 
and right click those. Since they are ideally the same shape, um, we're going to use face to make sure it's on there. There we go. Turn our snapping off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to modify it because it's like about we have too many edges and like these little hard parts on there. So we're going to change it by collapsing some edges together. Let's see, we got it's 12. So let's see. Mm, should have eight. Here we go. Use our loop tools, circle. Here we go. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to pause the video and finish those off. Okay, just in case if you were wondering what just happened, I just paused the video to adjust these uh, vertices, convert them from being 12 vertices to about 8. And now what we're going to do select everything, shift select, I mean, shift clicking, shift right clicking to select multiple. We're going to extrude those up. They're not that big, so it's pretty good. Now we're going to select everything, control N to recalculate the normals. All right, and we're going to just, I just want to extrude these up, scale them. Oops. I'm going to scale them. All right, so we're going to have to do that separately. All right. Um, Let's see, I know there's a setting of how to do this. Uh, individual origins, that may be it. There we go, okay. So that, if you wanna edit multiple things, you select your pivot and you go to individual origins. And we're just gonna scale those down a bit to get that nice circular part. We're gonna, of course, you know, separate it. And I want to scale it up a bit more, so that's fine. And then Control F, grid fill. Okay, so we gotta individually select these. Control F, grid fill. Control F, grid fill. Grid fill is actually a pretty good tool. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna select all those top parts. Lasso will definitely do it faster for you. Oops. And then we're just going to control V. Um, no, actually W. And smooth. I have a shortcut key for smooth, which is Q. But we're going to smooth it out a couple times. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So now you're going to do the exact same thing. And let's see the same thing, control V, double the edges. And we're going to, to make these edges a bit harder to get off like that, that type of, uh, that bolt type look. We're just going to input some extra loop cuts Just go all the way around till you adjust there until you got everything. Even if you have to edge slide some things, just make sure you don't miss a spot. It looks like I got them all. All right, so we have that part now. Our circle is looking very jacked up. I just want to move this up. Now we just need to like divide it off. Um, let's see here. All right, so we're just gonna flatten this part. Let's see what that gives us. Really no, can't really tell the difference of it now. Hmm. 
let's see if we get one more. All right, there we go. Now it's just looking a little funky because we have too many edges that's real close together, so it's gonna smooth it out. That kind of fixes our problem. We're just gonna do the exact same thing here. Um, actually, let's just go a bit more and smooth it up. All right, and there you have it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's one last part left, and I'm going to adjust these other parts on here as well. But on the last part, we're going to find we're going to finish things off by modeling our glass and our sand, and apply a material and set up a little small render scene. All right, so look forward to the next one. Bye.